Good evening. This is CTV News for Monday, April 2nd. I'm Denise Douglas. So glad you could join us this evening. Well, topping our news tonight, the students sit in to protest at Howard University continues into day five as alumni group comes out to support the students, to support of the school's president, I should say. The university's alumni council released a statement saying it rejects the students' demand that President Wayne Frederick be fired. You may recall the student group HU Resist began demonstrations after an embezzlement scandal involving six employees became public. Their nine demands include the ouster of Frederick, improved campus housing, and a crackdown on sexual assaults. Thank you guys, and we thank you guys. As you stated, they went through the same problems that we did, and they're still here. <laughs> the problems still exist. They haven't changed. So how are you going to support somebody that, when you said, oh, there is no air and all of that, that's still, that's still the problem. And also, that's not the biggest concern. There's also mold, there's rats, there's cold water. Um, you mean no air in the dorm room? There would be, like, there's like, yes, in the dorms. Like, there would be just, if it's, if it's hot outside, there's no AC. And if it's cold, the heat either takes too long to come yeah. on. So, those kind of things, it's not small things. Organizers say more than 300 students have participated in the sit-ins since Thursday. It seems like scammers continue to find creative ways to trick their victims. The Maryland judiciary has put out a warning to the public about the telephone scam where a person calls and threatens to garnish your wages. We spoke with John Erzin of the state's attorney's office who advises residents to beware. Unfortunately, we see scams like this all the time where you'll get a phone call from either a block number or a number that you don't recognize at all and they'll either be a person or even a, just a voice recording on the other end telling you that you owe money or you need to send money right away to avoid coming to court, being arrested, having charges filed against you, what have you. Uh, typically, anytime you get something like that, it's false and it's some sort of a scam where people are looking to just extort you for some reason. Uh, another thing you can do if someone's calling you like that, uh, you can always ask them to give you a phone number where you can call them back uh, because a lot of times that will also ward them off because they're not legitimate. Remember, never give personal information out over the phone, or if the scammer repeats personal information to you that is correct, do not confirm it. You are watching CTV News. I'm Denise Douglas.